Hey guys, Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back to another modding tutorial. So in the last tutorial, I taught you guys how to add food to the game and also able to cook it. What I'm going to be teaching you in this tutorial today is actually how to add a creative tab. Now, I thought I would get this out the way before we actually start working on other stuff because um, it's annoying putting in the command to get your item and it's a lot easier just going to the creative GUI, get your item out and then we can just go ahead and test it there. Now adding a creative tab is very easy and we're going to get straight into it right. So you want to come down to your post initialization method down here, create a couple of new lines and you want to type in public static creative tab so capital C capital T and you'll do space tab and then the name of your mod so tutorial mod and then you'll do space equals new creative tabs and put two brackets quotation at the end and then inside the brackets here you want to put quotation marks and you want to type in um, or you just want to copy this variable here and then just put that inside of the quotations there. Now highlight over creative tabs and click on import. Now you'll notice that there's still a red line here. We can't actually just leave it like this. What we have to do is we have to um, set a tab icon item. So at the end in between the bracket and the semicolon simply put an open squiggly bracket then enter onto the new line and what we've got to do is override a method in this creative tabs class. Now I'm not sure if we can actually go into it. Let's have a look. Okay, we can go into it. So we've got to override this method here. So let's go ahead, go back into here and we'll type in at override new line type public space item capital I space get tab icon item and then put two um, brackets at the end there, open squiggly bracket, go into a new line, it should automatically create the other one for you. And then what you want to do is you want to, this is where you can actually set the item in the creative tab. Um, I'll show you guys in a second what I mean, you'll, you'll get an idea what this means. So you want to do return new item stack and then this is where you get to put in the item of your choice. So I'm, I'm actually going to put in this cheese up here. So we can simply copy that variable, pop that in there. And then you want to, after that, type dot get item and semicolon at the end. Now if you don't want to use um, an item from your mod, what you can do is, is simply just type in items dot whatever you want or you can do blocks oh what the hell stupid I hate this eclipse I really don't like this eclipse version um, and you can do all the blocks who you want but I'm just gonna do the item cheese from up here pop that in there and then we're simply going to going ahead press save and we're not actually gonna run the game yet uh, I just wanted to like, get you guys to press that save button what we've got to do is actually set this item um, cheese and grilled cheese to actually go into this tab here. So after the um, set texture name up the top here, you want to type, or after the brackets here in between the semicolon, type dot set creative tab. And then simply copy this creative tab um, variable down here and pop it inside those brackets. Then we can copy that and simply just paste it in between that one there or at the end of that sex set texture name of the grilled cheese. So go ahead, press save now, and if we run the game, we should get our custom tab. If you guys could see how I'm actually recording this video right now, like, I've got a blanket around me because it's absolutely freezing um, this morning. Uh, it's winter in Australia right now, so it's quite cold. Sorry if you can hear my bird going off. Well, it's not my bird, it's my, uh, it's my stepmom's bird. Alright, so if we go into our creative GUI, you'll see that we've got this uh, next arrow here. Click on that, and you'll see that we've got our custom tab. Now, it doesn't have a name on it, and we're going to be naming that in a second, but as you can see, we've got our cheese, and we've got our grilled, grilled cheese in here now. 
So we're actually going to give this tab a name and if you've guessed it, we're actually going to put it in the lang file. So what we simply have to do is just copy this um, name up here, so item group dot tab tutorial mod. So it's quite easy. So let's close the game off. In your lang file, simply type in item group dot and then you want to copy this um, string inside of the quotations there, copy that and then put that at the end and then simply go equals the tab or your mod name essentially say so we're going to call it tutorial mod so hit save run the game and we should now have tutorial mod as our tab name boom there we go guys that's basically how you add creative tabs into the game so again a brief overview um, of how to do this so all you have to do is simply create under the post initialization method doesn't have to be there but it's just good to have it at the bottom uh, public static creative tabs tab then the name of your mod whoops equals new creative tab and then put in a string uh, just basically copy this here and then put it inside quotations inside the brackets here new squiggly line and you want to override the method public item get tab icon item and then you want to return a new item stack and then put in the your item that you want um, to be displayed as the tab icon so I'm using my item cheese up here but again you can use items dot whatever or blocks dot whatever doesn't really matter and then at the end do get item end off with a semicolon uh, make sure there's a semicolon at the bottom here to end off this um, so this yeah this this uh, squiggly bracket here links up with that bottom one and then make sure there's a, a semicolon at the end there and then to add your items to the creative tab simply just do dot set creative tab copy this variable down here pop it inside the brackets and then make sure it's finished off with a semicolon so hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial today it was a simple one but it had to be done so uh, next tutorial I'm pretty sure we're gonna get on with adding tools into the game so I'm probably gonna split them up into two parts just because there's a lot of tools in the game um, so uh, next tutorial will be tools and I'll see you guys then hopefully you enjoyed remember to hit that like button shows me that you are supporting this series and you're enjoying it and I'll see you guys next time bye